Hello internet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a really, really fun uh, activity. I don't know, is it an activity? Whatever. Today we are doing a fall themed 24 hour readathon. This 24 hour thon, by the way, is not gonna go midnight to midnight. This is actually gonna go from one o'clock until one o'clock the next day. And there will be sleeping. <laughs> so I am doing this readathon with some of my bestest friends, Allie and Kaylin, and I am so excited. Hello, this is me from the future, just cutting in super quick. So Soleil ends up joining I think within an hour and a half of me filming this intro. <laughs> and then Liv joins as well at the very end while we're all baking. So I'm gonna link their channels down below as well. But at the time of filming, I didn't know this. <laughs> so they join like as the day progresses, but they are doing this Hufflepuff Halloween autumn inspired 24 hour readathon thing as well. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Here's kind of like the plan for the 24 hour readathon. Obviously reading all of the books. I'm actually gonna go to a tea shop downtown so that I can feel kind of cozy and a little bit spooky because it's a really awesome atmospheric place. And I'm just gonna kind of read there and hopefully eat donuts. I'm hoping that they have donuts. Sometimes they have donuts, I don't know. Later tonight, I think I'm gonna make some pumpkin bread and I'm actually gonna try to watch a movie with my best friends. We're gonna try to watch Coraline together because I've never seen it. And so many people say that I'm really, really gonna like it. In fact, so many comments on my last video were like just comments that were surprised that I had never watched Coraline before. So I'm really, really, really excited because a lot of people think that I'm gonna like it. And then tomorrow morning, I'm actually gonna go to a pumpkin patch with my family. And I am so excited because I love pumpkin patches. I also have a couple of pumpkins and I think I'm going to do some like pumpkin painting today as well. So I'm really, really excited. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you my TBR for the 24 hour readathon. So I am doing two graphic novels. Technically, I have read this one already, but it was like a really fast read and I just wanna read it again because it puts me in such a fun fall spirit. And I'm going to the pumpkin patch tomorrow, so I just thought this would be really cool. So I'm reading Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and it's basically just like a friendship story. These two friends are at a pumpkin patch and they've worked there every single year and this is their last year at the pumpkin patch and they want to try to make it kind of memorable but the artwork is just really beautiful in it and it's so perfect for fall so I can't wait. Next up I have Through the Woods and this is by Emily Carroll and these are like scary stories so I'm probably going to well I don't know maybe I'll read them both at night or maybe I'll just read them both now. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is just filled with really spooky, scary stories. And I've read most of these, but I have not read all of them yet. So I can't wait to read this. I'm really, really excited. Next, I've got a poetry collection and this is Bittersweet Love. And this is by Michael Faudet. And I have all of his poetry as well as all of his girlfriend Lang Leaves poetry. But there's just something about, I don't know, autumn and fall and poetry. They all kind of go together. So I'm hoping to read this tonight with like a big cup of tea and just like feel really nice and cozy. His poetry is usually kind of gritty and I love it so much. I just love, I love his poetry so much. So I can't wait. Okay, then we've got three book books and I'm not like expecting to get through all of these, but I would like to get through some of them. So Coraline is the first one. My goal genuinely today is to read all of this before the movie. It's okay if like I don't finish all of it before the movie, but I would like to try to finish all of this before the movie. I've never read this book and I've never seen the movie before, so I am so excited. I know that it's about a little girl who finds a portal to another world where she has a second set of parrots and they tell her to sew buttons over her eyes, which is so creepy. But other than that, I don't know anything about this and I'm so excited to read this. I've been wanting to read this for actual years. So this is really the priority today and this is the book that I'll be kind of starting with, I think. 
so I'm really excited. Then I have two chapter books here, and I don't know how far I will get in these, just honestly, um, but the first one is Serpent and Dove, and this is by Shelby Marin. Serpent and Dove is just about a witch and a witch hunter, and I think that they are forced to marry each other, and um, I think she has to like hide who she is around him or something like that, I don't know. It's enemies to lovers, it's witches, I'm into it. Everybody's been talking about this book. I'm so excited to read this book. I'm actually buddy reading this with Allie. I definitely don't expect to get through this in one day. Like that's, this book is, this is well over 500 pages and it has like a second chapter in here for something else, so. Basically, I just wanna start this book. Like I'd be happy if I could get to like, I don't know like a hundred pages in, that would be really cool. Yeah, so there's this one. And then the last book is another book that I don't anticipate reading all of, just because my um, TBR is already really big, but it's These Would Just Don't Burn, and this is by Isabel Sterling, and I am so excited. So this book it takes place in Salem, Massachusetts, and an elemental witch discovers that a blood witch is causing havoc in her town, and she has to team up with her ex-girlfriend, Veronica, to take down the big bad witch. And what vibes? What vibes, you know, like I'm living. So again, with this one, I'm not really anticipating reading a ton just because it's, I really wanna read this one, but it's not as much of a priority as like Coraline or even Serpent and Dove. But I probably, like if I could read 50 pages into this, like I just really wanna start this book, that'd be cool because I really wanna try reading this before any of the readathons take place just because I, I really, I just really, really, really wanna read this. <laughs> So that's it for my TBR. I am so excited. And I think what I'm gonna do is take Coraline and maybe Serpent and Dove and go to my local tea shop and get some donuts. I really hope they have donuts. It's okay if they don't. But anyways, get some donuts maybe, get some tea, feel all cozy, and uh, start my reading journey outside of my house. Oh my God, my elbow just popped. Wonderful. My elbows have been popping since I was like 16 because I used to play tennis for high school. I kid you not, I literally had tennis practice like four hours a day plus actual practice can kick your ass at serving. So yes, those are my book plans. I am so excited. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some tea at the tea shop. They were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward. With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together ooh And one day she said Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful 
It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing Song, and they sing it kind of beautiful. Hello! Okay, I've just read 81 pages of Coraline, and I love it so much. So, in the comments of my last video, which um, was my October spooky TBR, I mentioned that I had never read this book, and I had so many people mention that, like, they were surprised because it sounded like a Lexi book like I, I remember specifically some people saying it sounded like my kind of a book like I promise I'm not just referring to myself in the third person I I was like oh that's really interesting okay okay and like now that I have read so much of it I can see why people are saying that because it's it's so up my alley it's like a little bit creepy very magical um, it's it's wonderful and like the illustrations in here are making it even better okay anyways also sorry if you see like a random bag um i took my dogs to the groomer and so that's just like their bag that i put them in when they go there so i'm just really really loving this book so much neil gaiman is just so good at like creating well-crafted characters and like such unique and interesting places and worlds so far we have Coraline who lives with her parents and up above her is a man who is training mice to be in a miniature circus and then down below her are two ladies who live together and they used to be actresses and she goes down there one day and they give her some tea and then they offer to read her tea leaves and they say you're in grave danger and it like sets this atmospheric tone and then she's talking to the man with the mice and the man is like the mice have whispered to me and they've told me to tell you to not go in the door it opens up with her like discovering a door and the door doesn't lead anywhere necessarily but just like those details like the mice whispered to me and told me to tell you not to go into the door and then the ladies who were like let me read your tea leaves you're in grave danger and then they, they just gave her also a stone of protection i hope you don't mind me like saying all of this but yeah it's it's really good it's really 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 good and i'm loving it so much i'm gonna go home probably eat something because i'm really hungry now and then just continue reading Coraline. and then probably as soon as this is done make some pumpkin bread okay so that is it for my update uh let's get our butts home and keep reading Coraline. my hat's right next to me Hello, I just got home, so it's a little bit later. I had dinner, I had autumn squash soup, and it was so good. I am gonna be baking pumpkin bread with my friends in a couple of hours. We're actually all gonna do it at the same time, which I think is gonna be so fun. And Kaylin is like, let's see who the fastest baker is, so I'm really, I'll, I will lose. Yeah, I can't wait for that. So, and then after that, I think we're all gonna watch Coraline. So, I have two hours, basically, to try to finish Coraline. I'm really excited. I think I can do it because it's a really fast read. But beforehand, um, why am I wearing this? Okay. <laughs> but anyways, I am gonna go and make myself a really quick pick-me-up for some coffee just because I'm feeling a little bit tired right now and I want like my energy levels to go up so that I can really focus on this book because I'm really enjoying it a lot. So, let's make some coffee and read the rest of Coraline.
Officially, the time when all of us are going to start baking together. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, you can tell we're all Hufflepuffs because, like, our idea of a good time is reading together and then, like, all of us baking at the same time and then watching cozy movies. So, very Hufflepuff. But anyways, I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna go inside and talk to them. I know Allie and Kaylin are also making pumpkin bread. I don't know what Soleil is making, so I'm gonna have to vox to her and ask her what she's gonna be baking, but yeah i'm just i'm like really really excited and i can't wait i love baking i think it's so much fun i feel like i bake in most of my vlogs it's just like very comforting to me just the act of like mixing something and smelling it and watching it bake and then obviously eating it i don't know and then after all of our creations are done we're gonna watch a movie together so it's kind of the perfect night let's go trying to get to the baking party on time My best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless.
my tea and all my friends and I are all set to start Coraline and I'm so excited. Today has been so much fun. Throughout the baking, Liv joined too and we all just like we're baking really cute things together and it's just like so much fun. It really feels like we've all been hanging out like all day long and it's just been so much fun like one of the best days ever i can't wait to watch this movie and then i'm gonna finish the book right afterwards just top notch let me show you the bread and stuff this is the pumpkin bread the topping is maple syrup and oh my gosh what is it called powdered sugar for like a like a simple frosting and then i have some whipped cream and y'all it's so good it's like the best pumpkin bread I've ever had and I'm so excited about it. Like it's so good. My friends are like amazing bakers, all of them, and all of their bread loaves look so good. Oh my gosh, they look amazing. It really feels like we're all hanging out and eating together and I'm so excited. Where did it begin? Where did it end? Hanging on those strings. Unable to bend, I never listen. watching Coraline with all of my friends and it was so much fun boxering everybody back and forth while I was watching I just had like the best time ever it was really fun also while I was watching I took the new sorting hat quiz and I got sorted into Hufflepuff officially so very exciting I've always been Gryffindor in every single Pottermore quiz that I've ever taken but in the quizzes that were not Pottermore I always got Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw I personally feel like more of a Hufflepuff and I always have and a lot of my friends have always said like no you're definitely a Hufflepuff and the new one says that I am officially a Hufflepuff so this is a really fun night and perfect because this is a Hufflepuff like slumber party thing so works out great yay <laughs> it is not too late it's like 11 but I am getting kind of tired so I think what I'm gonna do is get into maybe like some comfy pajamas I mean my my slouchy sweater is actually really comfortable too but probably get into some like pajamas and I think that I'm going to be reading a little bit more but I don't think that I'm gonna vlog anymore tonight necessarily so I will catch you in the morning um, and hopefully I will be reading some more bright and early so I will see you then bye <laughs> Are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. Too late, but I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it. Let's make up a big bonfire on the beach with the stars as our lighter and throw our problems in the Step away from salvation 
You're like the ocean setting me free Out in the open I'm picking up speed No bad thoughts penetrate Hold me like this is the first time Our destiny calls Not leaving this incomplete Won't you lay it on me Turn the page and burn it Let's make up a big bonfire Hi friends and good morning! I have had kind of a little bit of a slow start today and it's been so nice just to hang out and like be casual and sleep in. I feel super cozy. I'm wearing a very oversized baggy sweater and leggings and these really cute socks. Here, I'll show you. Aren't these just so like cute and cozy and warm? I love cool socks. Oh, I love socks. Okay. You know I love you if I send you socks because socks are my favorite things in the entire world and I gift them to people who I want to feel cozy and loved. So I've spent the morning just eating the rest of the pumpkin bread. It was so good. Oh my gosh. And then reading these two graphic novels, which is really quick. It took me like 30 minutes for both. Um, well, 30 minutes for one and then 30 minutes for the other. Because I wanted to like take my time and read the illustration or look at the illustrations. Sorry. But yeah, I read Pumpkin Heads and I also read Through the Woods by Emily Carroll and Oh my god, these were both so good. Totally different vibes. One was a very cozy vibe and the other one was a very creepy, scary vibe. Five out of five stars for both. Love them so much. I did also finish Coraline last night, the book and the movie. The book was so good. I probably stayed up for another two hours after I said goodbye, so I'm a little bit tired, but it was so, 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 so good. I'll definitely talk more about Coraline, Pumpkin Heads, and Through the Woods at the end of this video when I'm like wrapping up all of the books and everything but actually now we have to go because we are going to go to a pumpkin patch I'm so excited my family and I have been planning this for a while and it's going to be so much fun um I'm going to get some hot cider it's kind of early it's like 11 a.m so I'm going to change into some clothes that can get a little dirty because we're also going to go on some hay rides and things like that and yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. So with that, let's go to a pumpkin patch. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. Let's have some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Wanna go Sick in the morning, baby, don't leave. We're lost. Hi, guys. Okay, so uh, it is the end of the 24 hour readathon with my friends. I had so much fun doing this Hufflepuff Halloween fall themed readathon with them. I didn't read quite as much as I wanted to, but that's okay because I just had the best time ever. I think my favorite part was probably just baking together. Like it was so much fun to go back and forth, sending each other like videos and pictures and voxering. It was just, it was honestly, it felt like all of my friends were just in my kitchen and it was just so fun and so, I don't know, I just loved it so much. It was really great. I also loved watching Coraline. I thought that was really, really fun and I loved the movie. I thought the movie was so good. The movie was really scary. <laughs> Like even as an adult, I was so scared. So I'm glad that I didn't see it as a kid because I feel like it really would have given me like tons of nightmares. Other kids were braver than I was. Like I was such a chicken, like still am kind of, but yeah. I also had the best time with my family at the pumpkin patch, going on hay rides and going into the corn maze and getting lost in the corn maze. 
<laughs> we had so much fun like eating ice cream and just hanging out together and it was such a nice day outside so everything was just really perfect and I had so much fun. I didn't end up uh, painting any pumpkins so I think I'm gonna have to do that maybe sometime this weekend or I don't know sometime this week because I still want to do that but I just didn't have time for every single thing so out of my six books I read half because I read three so I didn't get to these but I am gonna start them probably tonight like after my homework because I have a project that's due on Monday for grad school it's fine. So the very first book that I read was Coraline. I love this so much. This has become one of my new favorite middle grades like of all time. I think it's so wonderful. Um, again, like I don't, the premise sounded really cool and very different, but it wasn't necessarily something that I would have reached for as a kid. And so I, I didn't really think about picking it up, but I highly recommend this to like adults and kids and teenagers and anybody really because it just the writing in it is really really wonderful it's so atmospheric it's so dark but also it just it was kind of charming in like a weird way like it was really really charming to see this little girl you know find a new portal to a world and it's totally different than anything else. It was just really interesting and cool and, and twisty and I loved it. I will say that there are actually a couple of pretty big differences, I think, between the book and the movie. I think that both of them were like a five out of five star. I thought that they were both amazing. But this is, I think, the only time that this has happened where I do prefer Neil Gaiman's book over his movie. The movie was amazing. Uh, I kind of want to watch it again. It was just so good. But I actually think that the writing in the book fit just a little bit better. So I, I really, really, really liked this a lot. But I loved both of them. And I highly recommend watching the movie or reading the book if you have not. Next, I read Pumpkin Heads, and this was my second round of reading Pumpkin Heads, and this is just about two friends who are at a pumpkin patch. They're trying to make it their best, most memorable time ever because it's their very last time before they both go off to college, and yeah, so it's like their last autumn working there together. It's just really cute, and it was perfect because I read this right before my family and I went to a pumpkin patch, so like I was so vibing with it, like it was so good. I loved it so much, and it really got me in the spirit so that I was even more excited to get to the pumpkin patch. It was just really, really great. And then the last one that I read was also a reread, although I this was the first time ever going through all of the stories. The stories aren't connected, they're just all short, horror fiction, scary fiction, Through the Woods, Emily Carroll. I highly recommend this if you like dark things. I thought it was spooky and scary and terrifying. And I thought the artwork was so beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is some of my favorite artwork ever. Um, here's like, here. If you want some light, fun, kind of spooky, haunted stories, I highly recommend Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's it for my 24 hour thon with my friends. I had so much fun with my friends and um, I definitely want to do another one of these slumber party things again soon, hopefully soon. I don't know when because um, grad school is actually really hard, <laughs> but hopefully really soon because I just had the best time ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, spooky and cozy weekend wherever you are. Tell me right now what you're reading. What are you reading for autumn? What What's giving you those like cozy, spooky vibes? Because maybe I'll add it to my ever growing TBR list. I love you so much and until next time book lovers keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book and I'll talk to you later. Bye!